It's a great day for keto. My name is Liftar, and I'm bringing you today's keto tip. Welcome. Today's keto bite, possible keto problems. Some nutritionists consider keto to be a medical diet, something you should only practice if you have a specific condition. It was discovered in the 1930s when they were trying to figure out how to help people with epileptic seizures. It is known to be a big help with PCOS, which is polycystic ovary syndrome, which can be quite a painful situation for some women. I personally don't try to tell people to stay on a super low-carb diet for very long periods. And what do I mean by very long? Many, many, many months and years. I recommend people to go on low carb to lose weight and then bring the carbs back up to a healthy level for long term. One way to go about this is just to see how you feel. High quality carbs like leafy vegetables have too many health benefits to leave them out of your diet over time. We're talking about two different things here. How you feel At the beginning of doing keto, you're going to feel crappy usually the first week, 10 days. You have the keto flu stuff, all that, which we've talked about how to not have that by staying hydrated. But after you've been on a diet for a while, you should start feeling normal, feeling good, feeling decent. If you don't, you should change something. You shouldn't just feel lousy for no reason. That's not a good diet. And a lot of times it's the carbs because some people are genetically inclined to need more carbs than others. Your digestion will change over time if your carbs are too low and the fat is too high. You'll change the actual bacteria content in your intestines. The way I recommend is for people to go on the strict keto for you can do it for a few months. I mean, it's not like in three days you're going to have health problems. But once you have lost weight, you should raise your healthy carb levels back up. So let's say you go on 20 carbs a day to lose a bunch of weight. You want to get it back up to 50 to 100 a day. And again, it's always healthy carbs. I'm not talking about eating cookies. We're talking about adding more vegetables in maybe even fruit, healthy carbs. When you lower your carbs quickly, you can interrupt production of serotonin, which is the feel-good hormone. It's one reason people get cranky on the keto diet, but really people get cranky on every diet. And that's because diets change your body. They make your body go through a change, change in your chemistry and a whole bunch of other things parts of your system. Keto can be a way of life diet. There are people who stay on it permanently as a way to keep their weight under control and they just feel much better on the keto diet. And I personally think a lot of them it's because of they are off of grains and gluten. Gluten causes so many problems with your health and the way you feel especially if you're genetically more sensitive to it. So if you're going to stay on keto all the time, you really need to bring the carb levels back up, and you might want to mess with the protein levels a little too until you get the carbs back up to that 50 to 100 grams a day going forward. You should always be experimenting a little bit with your health to see where you land after the weight is gone. Genetics play a big role in how much carbs you need, but you are in charge of figuring out what that is, and you do that by experimenting with it. Put the carb level at X level for a few days, see how you feel. Put it at another level, see how you feel. Over a long period of time, if you aren't feeling good, your diet isn't right. You should feel good when you're eating properly. Again, this doesn't include the first week or two when your body's changing. Over time is what I'm talking about. Cheat days are not healthy. Either be on keto or not. Do not yo-yo with keto. It can cause you real problems. 
can cause heart problems. It can cause your body to be not be able to switch on or off into keto. So these are some of the possible keto problems. I just want you to know about them. Most people have no problem at all. They just do it and everything's fine. Just wanted you to know what to look out for in case you're one of those rare genetic cases that it doesn't work well with your system. And if it doesn't work well with your system, that's okay too. There's other ways to lose weight. Don't try to put a square peg in a round hole. But also, don't just give up at the first sign of any problem. Experiment, see what works, see what doesn't. And that's today's Keto Bite. If you enjoy these bite-sized tips, then come on over to rockthatketo.com and sign up for fabulous recipes, how-to tips, and inspirational stories of people who have lost weight or gotten healthy for the first time in their life. If you're ready to dive in and start losing serious weight, we have a foolproof 30-day plan all laid out for you. You can start losing weight today. Come on and check us out at rockthatketo.com, and we'll see you next time. 